Did you know there's different types of material to make custom bra cups for corsets? This is the original cut and sew bra foam, and a lot of designers use this one. It's 5 millimeters, which is between 316 and 1 fourth. But what happens when the company you buy it from is sold out, or you just want to try something else? Things happen, so you always have to have a backup plan. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you four types of foam. Let's get into this. So the first type of foam is from Pelin and it's called Flex Foam. It's fusible on one side. This is how it looks. It's about one fourth and it's very spongy. It's softer than a cut and sew bra foam. You could double it up if you want to. However, I would use this only for a client with a small bust. And here is how it looks with fabric. It's soft so you can put it on the seam allowance and sew it. Next is the second foam. This one is from Bozal and is called NR Form. It's fusible on one side and has a soft, fleecy fabric on the other side. This is the glue side and this is the soft, fleecy side. It's thicker than the first foam and it's four millimeters wide, which is a bit over one eighth of an inch. So this is how it looks with the main fabric. I like how this side feels. It feels smooth when I touch it. Next up is the third foam. This one is called Soft and Stable by Annie's. This foam stabilizer is not fusible. It's made from 100% polyester foam and is covered on both sides with white polyester fabric. It's soft but heavier than the first foam. The measurement is a little over 1 8 of an inch. And this is how it looks with the main fabric. It's kind of hard to choose between this one and the second foam. They are both good. Bozal has a soft, fleecy fabric on one side and the other side is fusible. Soft and Stable has 100% polyester foam covered with white polyester fabric on both sides, but it's not fusible. However, you can put the fusible bonding web in between the fabric cup and foam, then iron the pieces together. Next is the fall foam. This is a cut and sew bra foam from AliExpress. It measures 1 8 and I have to be honest, it's so thin that you will have to double it up. When I double it, it measures 1 4 which is a little over the original cut and sew bra foam. I wouldn't make it more than 1 4 And here is how it looks with the main fabric. You could put seam allowance on the foam only because it's spongy and it can sew through the sewing machine. The links for the foams will be in the description below. If you found this video helpful, then please give this video a like and share it with other people who would like to learn about fashion. There are different ways to sew bus cups. If you would like to know more, then this playlist is for you. Click or tap on the video right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye everybody.